Thanks for joining us today at Learn Create Sew. In our last video, we showed you how to make a basic Christmas stocking. This stocking has a fold over cuff, and so it's fully lined and super quick. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a slight modification to that pattern so that you can have a lining that contrasts with your cuff. In the basic pattern, the cuff that you see on the outside of the stocking is exactly the same as on the lining. If you just want the basic stocking, the video for that tutorial is linked below in the description. But let's get started. So on this stocking, I want to use some red velvet for the main outside of the stocking. I also want to use Sherpa for the cuff, but the Sherpa is really thick and I don't necessarily want that for my entire lining. What I was thinking I'd like was to have this nice plaid flannel be the inside of my stocking. So I'm gonna show you how to split the lining so I can have this nice Sherpa cuff and then the cute plaid lining. First, you'll want to visit my website for the free pattern. This pattern is available in several different sizes. You'll want to print the pattern out twice and cut it once on the solid line for your main fabric and once on the dotted line for your lining. Once your pattern pieces are all put together and cut out, grab the pattern piece that you're using for the lining. You'll notice that up at the top there is a dotted line and this is the fold for the cuff. I'm going to use my paper scissors and I'm going to cut the pattern right on that line. Then I'm going to grab a new sheet of paper and I'm going to place the stocking pattern on top of it. and I'm going to tape it in place. And I'm gonna draw a line that's 3 8 inch above the top edge of the stocking. This will add a seam allowance. And I'll connect it. to the top of the stocking. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the cuff piece, but on the other edge. So I'm gonna tape this to my new piece of paper and draw a line 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom edge. Notice that I'm drawing the lines along the section where they would have been connected. and continue the edge. And now I'm gonna use my paper scissors and cut out the new top edges of my pattern. You can see that I've now separated the bottom of the stocking from the cuff, and I've added a 3 8 inch seam allowance. I can now use this pattern to cut out the lining for the stocking and to cut out the cuff. You're gonna need to cut two from each of these. So on this one, you're gonna want to cut two from your cuff fabric. And on this piece, you're gonna to want to cut two from the stocking lining. So you can make yourself a note so you don't forget if you'd like to. But let's go ahead and cut out our pieces. Since the Sherpa is so thick, rather than folding it right sides together, I'm gonna to cut each piece separately. So I'm gonna trace the pattern piece for the cuff. and then I'm gonna flip it over so I'm looking at the wrong side of the pattern and trace it again. This way I'll get mirror images. Because I wanna make sure I have a left and right side to 
into my stocking. If you're using fur, make sure to try to cut just the backing and not the pile of the fur, so not the little hairs if you can. Also, if you're using fur, make sure your pattern piece is going the direction of the pile so that the little hairs on the fur are going the correct direction. If you're using fur, you'd want the direction of the hairs to go towards the wide end of the cuff piece. Once you have the lining and the cuff fabric cut out, it's time to put them together. So lay one of your stocking lining pieces right side up. And take one of your cuff fabric pieces and place it right side down. You'll notice on the cuff fabric that one of the edges is just a little bit steeper than the other. You want the steep side to be next to the toe. Place them right sides together and pin in place along the top edge. Sew along the top edge with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Repeat on the other side and complete the rest of the stocking as demonstrated in the original video which is linked in the description below. After you have the whole stocking constructed, I found when you turn over the cuff, the heavy velvet kind of sinks down and it doesn't stay together very well. This wasn't a problem with cotton flannel or fleece, um, but I noticed that with the velvet and the fur, it did a little bit of sinking. So here's what you can do to fix that. Take the entire stocking and turn it wrong side out. Make sure that the Sherpa is all the way to the edge and make sure everything's laying as flat as possible. I like to put a few pins to hold it in place. And as I place the pins, I like to make sure that the velvet is nice and flat inside. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my sewing machine 
and I'm going to remove the compartment from the front so that I can slide the stocking over. And then I'm going to stitch right in the ditch. That means I'm going to stitch exactly in this seam so that the stitches sink down and are invisible and that will hold the cuff in place. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can always just use a few hand stitches to tack the lining in place as well, and that will help to prevent it from sinking down. So let's head to the machine. I'm using a walking foot for this because my fabric's pretty thick. I'm also going to use this purple thing to help me guide my Sherpa up so that I'm stitching right in the ditch there and that none of those little fibers get caught. I'm also going to increase my stitch length to four. Now turn the stocking the right side out. You can see that I now have stitching holding my cuff in place. I actually like to do two rows one stitching in the ditch, and one about a quarter inch below that to really hold that lining in place. Make sure you do stitch from the lining side so you can make sure it's really exact. And then once your stocking's right side out, go ahead and flip that cuff over again. We now have a very traditional Christmas stocking with contrasting lining. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Happy sewing and happy holidays.